Hey, oh, we're live. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to our live stream, everyone. I surprised them and hit the go live five seconds before they I know. Ready. You jumped right into it. Good Happy you, Friday, folks. Good thing you guys weren't picking your nose or something. That was really that was earlier. <laughs> been really weird just doing it in front of you guys, too. Look. Well, that was more the embarrassing factor. Yeah. But, yes, we hope there's lots of you out there that want to come and watch us hopefully not butcher making a delicious Welsh cake. We're going to do our best. We were trying to make a Welsh cake with a recipe from one of our viewers today. Yes, Heidi, I'm sure you guys, once you join, you know Heidi. She's in usually all of our chats, and she has sent us a wonderful Welsh recipe. Yes, Heidi, I'm sure you guys. Just making sure there's some, everything looks and sounds good on the chat. Just do the choppy on the on your stream, or are we clear? If I'm moving. It's clear. There's a delay here. Okay. We are not all the way to the end of the this is a video test for anybody who's in our stream right now. We're no, just no, testing. I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, it's just the streaming on the laptop then. Nice. But yes, we are probably going to say it a bunch of times while people join us. We're, we were started a minute early. It's, I know everybody's probably outside enjoying the beautiful sunshine. Hopefully it's sunny where you guys Hopefully are. Hopefully everyone's outside enjoying the day. Yeah, so I'm going to close. I don't see I see there's a couple of people in the stream here. We're not seeing your comments here, so hang on a second. Let me just... Yeah, no, we're in it, but it's not. Sure. Uh, no, that's going to show it. Oh, huh, sorry. Oops. So it's not showing comments? No. So I'm going to open it up here. Maybe nobody's commenting. No, no, there's. A, I can see a couple of people saying hi. Okay. No, it's right there. It's just a little, probably a little delayed. Oh, it is delayed. Bob's yes. here. Bob's Adventure, hello. Bob's Adventure and Jelly Duck. Hey guys! Hey, hey Jack. Jelly Duck and Bob's Adventure. Thanks for joining us. For some reason, your first couple of comments weren't showing up, so I they think both... it's just a little bit of a delay. So. No, because this is the last one. There's a few oh, above okay. it. I've sent one too, just to oh. test it. Okay. Well, that's fine. So, okay. okay, we see you chat now, guys. Hey, happy okay. Friday! Thanks for joining us. Our chat was a little slow to catch up, but we're here now. And it looks like we have Bob's Adventure and Jelly Duck. Hello, guys. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully, you'll be able to stick around for a little bit while we uh, close that do down. some bacon and making of stuff. We are trying Welsh cakes. Yes. With Heidi's recipe today. We're making, and I read the recipe, and it looks like it is. She said she sent us basic, easy recipes. It looks pretty simple. There's seven ingredients. Like it's just cooked on like a griddle or a pan, just basically like that. pancakes. It's a long. It looks like a long recipe in the. Well, she was very detailed in her recipe. Yeah, she gave us a lot of. Uh, yeah. We're not cooks. So this might be <laughs> this might be complicated for us. So we're gonna try it out. Oh, Jelly Duck, you ate Vegemite? I haven't seen that yet. Did I see? Did you guys see? No, I missed oh, it. I haven't been online. like, today I was doing stuff around the house in the basement. I haven't really been online at all today. We'll have to go watch it. What did you think? Did you, uh, did you like it? Did you like Vegemite? No way you like it. I'm guessing <laughs> no. No way. And Vegemite is no worse Vegemite. than Marmite. Yes. Like Vegemite was by far worse than Marmite. Just, yeah, like, definitely you, a lot stronger than yeasty. You don't think Flavor. anything could be worse than Marmite, but Vegemite's worse. And then you find Vegemite. And yeah. Bob said he has a while today to hang out with us. Sweet. All right. Thanks, Bob. We will do our best to keep you guys all entertained. Yeah. So I did see Bob's video today where he had uh, he was using a crock pot in his van to cook. Oh, I love Ooh. crock pots. Yeah, that's what I was like, oh, crock pots are a great way to cook. I never, I kind of didn't think of that. I never. Yeah, that's a great way to cook stuff in the van. I don't use crock pot as much as I should. Maybe if I use my crock pot, I'd actually make things. I make like chili in my crock pot, and that's really about it. So I use it in the winter, and yeah. I, I don't use it a lot the rest of the year. But I sure, like, you can make anything with it. I know. I wish take advantage of it more. Jelly Duck says it's so freaking salty instead of yeast extract. extract. Yeah, Vegemite is. Super yeah, it's, it's super like salty. Really salty, weird flavor. It's... But not good salty. No, it's not. It's not, it doesn't taste good at all. Oh, I have like shivers. Oh, sauce doing something weird. Sorry, guys. When you tried it, Jelly Duck, did you try it with like butter on toast, or did you just try it by itself? Because mm -hmm. there's there's a difference. What are you doing? My socks on weird. Sorry, especially <laughs> sock. <laughs> um. So yeah, so I'm curious how you tried it because we tried it like just by itself, and it was really awful. We tried it on uh, toast with a little bit of butter. It was a little bit better, but still really, really gross. Yeah, and we were definitely told, like, we put, the first time we tried it, we smeared it on, like, jam, and it was, we were told, like, that is not how you eat vegetable at yeah. all. It's supposed to be, like, a little tiny pea size that you just sort of smear on it. Usually if something's good, if you put more of it on, it's still, it just tastes better, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, chocolate tastes good. You put more chocolate on something, it still tastes good. Mm -hmm. 
with Benjamin Marmot, you put more of it on whenever like you're eating, and it gets worse. Yeah, yes. like even like David Wardell was showing us in one of his videos, he ate and like you know just a little tiny amount, just spread as thinly as possible. But even so then, he had more on it than I. Yeah, it's just. I mean, I think every stream we talk about it is just awful. It's just a very uh, strange <laughs> flavor. That's, uh, it's not enjoyable uh, at all. Bob said, yeah, it's a nice and small van size. I got a Blackstone grill. Going to be able to make burgers. I love grills. And I like burgers. burgers. Those grills are great. We bought one. We've been using them. We're actually going to bring it downstairs for this. Uh, when we cook this stuff, we're going to cook it on the... It's not a Blackstone, but it's that same. It's a Black & Decker like, grill. It's great. I used it uh, a couple days ago to make some steaks on and stuff, and it came out really nice. Now, just disclaimer, the grill we're going to use to make the Welsh cakes, I'm assuming it'll work just as good as doing it in a frying pan, but I, I don't would, see why it wouldn't. I don't see why it wouldn't, Yeah. but if it doesn't go right, then we'll just blame the griddle. <laughs> the grill. We kind of had to, we didn't really, we don't have the logistic room to do it in the actual kitchen, yeah. so we're like, well, we can do it down here with the griddle. Yep. Mm. So Julius Duck's asking where the Welsh cakes are. They're coming in a little bit. We gotta wait for a few more people to join. Yeah, still we have to make them. So we're using a, a recipe given to us by Heidi. She's been in this stream quite a bit. You, yeah. might, you might know her. Yeah, I may recognize her name. Yeah, she, she said us this. Yeah, she lives in Wales, so this is about uh, authentic. Uh, recipe wise, about as authentic as you can get. We're just hoping we can uh, do it some justice when we make it. Yeah, we have the ingredients sitting off to that's uh, off, off to the left of the camera over here, and yeah. I already well, portioned them out. You portioned it and everything. It looks like a real cooking show almost. <laughs> I just pictured us trying to measure out flour and icing sugar <laughs> and everything. I mean, it probably would have been really entertaining, but because we're not in the kitchen, I didn't feel like having that all over my couch, which yeah. is right over there. Yeah, yeah. We're living dangerously. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. cooking cooking in like the living area is not the best idea. No. But if we were able to do it in the kitchen, then you would have seen the whole but why not just make homemade Welsh cakes or did you guys just buy it? No, we're making them. No, we're going to make them. Yeah, them. We yeah. have all the ingredients. Do you want to slide those so we can show them? Sort of the sure. Ingredients. Oh, please just don't lift it. Slide it. I'll be careful. I know you, you portioned everything nicely. Yeah, but there's like milk and stuff on oh, those things. Oh, okay. You know so what? let's remember. just don't, don't do, do it. that. Or just slide it over, but don't lift it. All right, I'll slide it. <laughs> just... All right, this. right, I'll be very carefully doing this. And... We'll make this not entertaining because I'm not going to spill anything. No, he's still going to spill something. Oh, really? <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we have them all portioned out. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this. I guess take the camera off and show them, right? Just, we can do it once we start making it. We'll take the camera off. Yeah. Okay. We're just still waiting for people to do Sure. Yeah, so the ingredients is in this tray right here. You can see it, though. Like, if you point at the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we got eggs, uh, flour. What's this? Sugar? Icing sugar? Yeah. Uh, milk, butter, margarine. Margarine, thank you. Uh, raisins. I might steal one right now. Go for it. Um, salt. Yep. Salt, and we have nutmeg as our main spice. We'll go through it though when we put them. Start mm. making. It. Yeah. I want some raisins now. Hey, David Wardell's here. Hey, hey David. Sweet. Hey, David. Happy Friday. We're making Welsh cakes today. Yes, we're going to do Heidi's recipe. We were supposed to do it a couple weeks ago, and we kind of couldn't do it. So, I'm hoping uh, we can hang on a little bit until Heidi's able to join us. Yeah. Because then she can tell us when we do things wrong. She can tell us if we're screwing this up really. <laughs> yeah, she can let us know if we're uh, missing anything or not doing something right. I even did the conversion because she had, like, ounces, eight ounces, which is a cup, so I, like, converted it because I don't know ounces. That's weird. I thought, like, in the UK they used um, metric for measuring. Yeah, but I'm not using cups aren't metric, right? No. I'm no. using the American. Oh, so like, she, she did, she, she's using it right. So she would use milliliters. No, but she's kind of doing, she's using ounces and, but eight ounces is one cup, four ounces is half a cup, but I go by cups. Right? Okay. So okay. it's the same thing. It's just what I, because I don't, I don't, I have the little like pre measured cup thing. Oh, so. Yeah, we don't bake a lot, so. I wish I did. But a, this is I, sort of foreign territory for us. Yeah, I bake never. I cook, you know, when I have to. Yeah. And uh, I don't bake a lot at all. No. No, never. Uh, David, uh, happy Saturday. That's right. For you, it's uh, Saturday. It's Saturday already. Here, it's just getting started Friday. I keep looking at I switch wrists to try and get rid of my watch tan. I yeah. keep looking at the wrong. <laughs> I keep looking at my other wrist when I look at the time. I don't know. You guys, this past week just flew by. 
Sorry. Hi, Jackie. You're here. Jackie, hey. be back soon. So we'll be here for a little while. Today, yeah. just so everybody knows, because, you know, we'll be ending tonight's live, live stream at 9. So. Ending at 9, so a little bit earlier, and we're doing a live cooking show of Welsh cakes. That's yeah. right. I have to do some online family time yeah, <laughs> with some yeah. relatives, so we're going to end at 9 o'clock. We're Apparently, we're going to play board family games. board game, so that but. should be a. How do you flip the board game in the. You get a flip. <laughs> you have that option to just flip the table. They should have that in, in, built into the game. That'd be great. Yeah. I'm tired of playing this. Flip over. <laughs> So yeah, this should be interesting. We're using the uh, uh, what Board Game Arena is the website apparently that you can play a bunch of different games on. So never but used it, so we'll we'll find out. Before, Have you guys talk which game you're playing? No. Oh. Before I rudely interrupted Eric, he was talking about this week. Yeah, I don't want to talk anymore. Sorry, <laughs> I just joking. wanted because I thought he said she had to go. So I just no, no, no I'm just ahead. saying uh, this week flew by really fast. I don't know about you guys. First part of the week went really slowly. Today and yesterday went fast, but for the first, I don't know why. Today, this has been a weird week for me. I've been kind of like, I don't know. Up and down? Yeah, it's been mm. weird. I don't yeah, know. This, it, yeah. this week for me flew right by. I was like, oh my God, it's Friday already. Hello, Bob and Joe. Hey, Bob and Joe. Raptors, thanks for joining us. Hope you guys are doing all right. Yeah, today and yesterday went busy, but Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday was. Yeah. I don't know. And the, and the weather has been really beautiful, so it's not even the weather I got outside every day, but I don't know. It's just one of those, like, off and on weeks. Yeah. I didn't get outside as much as I wanted to at all, but... No, me neither. Even today, I was like, oh, I'm going to go do some work in the backyard, and... Yeah. I didn't do it. It's also, yeah. like, 40 it's, degrees Yeah, it's now, really so. hot here right now, guys. It's like, yeah. It's like summer, pretty much. Like, summer doesn't start until Sunday, tomorrow. officially. Is it tomorrow or I think Sunday? It's Sunday's the, sol the solstice. Yeah, but it's like... 30, 30 plus degrees and humid, it's really warm. Summer is here, and I'm in a hoodie. Because <laughs> it's freezing in we're in our house. basement, so it's, it's chilly down yeah. here. Yeah, so we always wear the hoodies. We need to get some external heat or some of that down here. Yeah. But hopefully, all your guys' week was good. Yeah, hopefully, you guys had an awesome week. Yeah. Hopefully, everyone's surviving still, doing, doing well. Mm -hmm. Here in Ontario, we're sort of starting to open a little bit more. Starting today, uh, well, a lot more restaurants can have patios open at thirty percent capacity. Some of the malls are sort of open with some of the stores and stuff like that. There, the malls are open. It's just the store can open if they want. So that, not okay. all stores are open, but the malls are open. And we're actually like, like in Ontario, we're the second to last region to open up phase two. Like Toronto's still in phase one. Yeah, Toronto. Mm -hmm. So where where we live in our city today was the first day of phase two. So like the restaurants and malls. So we're a little bit behind. Joe and uh, Bob went to the beach today. Oh, nice. Our beach is still closed. Yeah, our beaches are all closed. Yeah. So, oh, I wonder if like no, Park Dover's open now. Yeah, I Maybe, think the one year they've taken the they put the fence up and they took it down again. But I mean, our beach here, I wouldn't really swim in. No, Park Dover, I would. I'm, I'm guessing Bob and Joe swim in Lake Erie. Yeah, I would assume. Yeah, unless it's like a small lake thing. I was know. it Maybe. Lake Erie you guys were in, or was it something uh, something else? Yeah, we go to Lake Erie sometimes. There's a town called Port Dover on the opposite side of Lake Erie from you guys, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a pretty nice little beach. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Nancy, thanks for joining us. Happy Friday. Hope you're doing well. Yes. We're doing a live cooking show today. We're going to be That's cooking right. Welsh cakes. I'm nervous. I know. I'm mostly just nervous. Like, I've read this recipe a hundred times. She, Heidi, bless her, has a lot of words in here because she was probably trying to make it really idiot-proof for us. <laughs> yes. Which so is there's never a, a bad idea. There's <laughs> a lot of words in here, so I'm trying to just, like, I think my problem is when I make stuff is I don't have the patience for a recipe. Yeah. So I like skip or, you know, I'll just be like, oh, I did that. And then I do it twice. So I'm going to try really carefully to. I noticed you took, you had that written down on paper or something? What? Written down? You blew it up into a photocopy. No. I just printed it. She, oh, you just printed it. She, she just sent, sent a sent picture. Oh, uh, okay. She wrote it. Heidi wrote it all out for us. That's so. Heidi's notebook. And then you just. Got a screen cap of it. She yeah. Sent a yeah she okay. sent the... Although I'm a little worried. Speak because... of the devil. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Uh oh, How are you? speak of the Heidi. 
I am a little concerned though because it says it makes 16. Oh no, but they're small because I'm like, there's not a make... lot 16, but I'm like, there's not a lot of flour and stuff. So yeah. I'm like, how does it make 16? They gotta be little, right? It's a three inch round. Three inch round? So that's so like, 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 baby. Know, like, a, like, we might just, just make pancakes or something like that. We may yeah. just make them a bit bigger because. Yeah. Who is not for 16? <laughs> See, this is why I screw everything up. I'm just like, no, let's just make it. You're already easy. looking for shortcuts. I know. Um, but Heidi, we're ready. We have your recipe. And the wooden spoon. Eric's in charge of the wooden spoon. I got this on lockdown. <laughs> and what David's saying here, still pretty close here. You can go out up to five miles. I'm a key worker, so I can go further. Take my dad out in the car for a second. Oh, that's nice. He took your dad out. That's really cool. I'm sure he enjoyed going out for a nice uh, drive. See, I don't think we were as, like, restricted as you guys were. Like, everything was just closed so we couldn't go anywhere. But, like, I don't think they had as strict of rules as far as, like, you can't go driving in your car. Like, because people would go for drives. Yeah. yeah. There was just nothing open. So we were lucky that way. I mean, yeah. obviously, they didn't recommend for, going places. Pretty much through phase one, you could have, like, a group of five people together. Yeah. Here, right? And then they just opened up to ten people now. Yeah. 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 Ten people that you don't have to social distance from. Yeah. Don't even get me yeah. started in all the the semantics. You can hug people it. again, right? Yeah, but those ten people have to be the ten people you have to agree. Like oh, no, that's to be like the ten people in your bubble. in your bubble, and yeah. they can't see anyone outside of those ten people. It's it's confusing, yeah. and it's a lot of rules around it. So I'm sure it's not. Oh, good. Heidi says to be honest, size doesn't mm -hmm. matter. But Heidi, does size really not matter? What's this? <laughs> Just as long as the thickness oh. is the same. Uh -oh. All about the thickness. No, I'm just kidding. Girth? Uh, is it no. the girth batters with Welsh case? <laughs> no wooden spoon needed, Eric. Just, just a butter, butter knife. knife in your hands. Oh, see, we already effed up. Oh, <laughs> man. I was really looking forward to using the wooden spoon. You can, I, you can use it. I feel like a chef with this, though. Me, 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 me. Do you want to go grab a butter knife? So, I'm not saying a word. <laughs> <laughs> you want to grab a butter knife? So I'll oh, grab the turtle, too. We'll just, oh, yeah. yeah. Steve's getting the griddle. This is getting serious. Well, I'm nervous, Heidi. I think we'll start soon. Yeah, well, I, I really wanted, I mean, I want everybody to be start here, without Heidi, but I wanted yeah. Heidi to be here. For everyone in the chat who doesn't know, we're going off of uh, uh, Heidi's recipe she sent us. And she can help us. She can scream through the computer if we're doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah, if we're screwing up, let us know for sure. Like, just don't hesitate. I mean... I'm, I'm, I'm actually really nervous because I don't want to, like, make them bad. No, I don't either. <laughs> and see, I'm like, if they're not good, is it because we screwed it up or we just don't like them? Oh, it's 100% because we screwed it up. I mean, yeah. it's flour and butter. Like, how are they not going to be good? And with icing sugar on it? Yeah. I mean, come on. Uh, so the police would stop you if they saw you driving and find out why. If no good reason, you get sent home or get a ticket. Ooh. I think there was... Little, definitely more strict than us. There was rumors that that was happening at the beginning here. Like, the police said they weren't doing it, but then people said they were. So, who really knows? But yes. I know just, like, literally nothing was open. So you, And it was ch shitty weather here. So nobody really actually left their house. The police were ticketing people in parks who they thought were lingering too long. In parks they were, yeah. yeah. But just driving a car, I don't know, like I said, there was rumors they were pulling people over, but, but yeah, the police the, said the they police, weren't. Yeah, I was going to say, the police said they weren't doing that, so. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, who please. wants to see us make Welsh cakes? I need a whole bunch of thumbs up in the comments, and then we'll start. Don't forget to like the stream, too. That's true. As well, that's awesome for Okay, us. but, like, thumbs up in the comments, guys. I need, to, I need to feel your passion. We need the energy. I need to be encouraged. I need positive encouragement. <laughs> we're nervous. <laughs> I know, I don't want... I don't want to start. I want a whole bunch of you can do it. <laughs> all right. I must say any support. I don't support. see any support. Don't support in the chat here at all for us to do Maybe this. There's a delay. No, there's a huge delay. So Is there? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Um, so I'm just gonna while we get the while catching up to our demands. I just want to make sure we only need one bowl. Mix dry ingredients in a large bowl. Add large margarine bowl. and use thumbs against fingers. Oh, I see some thumbs up happening. Oh, I see thumbs up. And some, uh, looks like some Star Trek. We would love to have Heidi as an online <laughs> guest, but I don't think Heidi wants to be an online guest. <laughs> yeah, we, of course we love that on our show. <laughs> oh, for sure, Heidi. If you ever no, want no, to, uh... no, no, no. Bob was just saying it's too bad Heidi couldn't be a guest. And then uh, she just said, I'm not an on-screen type of girl. Yeah, said, yeah. Oh, offer's always there, Heidi. Maybe it's less pressure if we don't have her. That's true. <laughs> and a little bit of encouragement from Heidi. She says, um, it's, it's not the end of the world if you mess them up, basically. 
I Which know. is good to, good point, right? It is true, but it's more just like we, you know, we want to, oh, look at all the thumbs up we got. David says, is this just me or are you a lot more excited doing these than my Toasty last night? <laughs> we were afraid to do your Toasty. Because we knew that was going to be us. It was Actually, a lot of fun, though. We really enjoyed it. Before it we was do fun. This, it was definitely a fun, a fun to try out. Before we do this, why don't we all check back in with Eric because he was having a rough time at the end of the live stream. Oh, How man. his uh, week or days afterwards went? Ooh, I think that night was a little rough, to be honest. <laughs> the, the, the tummy wasn't happy after that. but. <laughs> I survived. I'm here still. I survived. Are, yeah. I'm a survivor. I know people were probably wondering if you. I'm it. sure they were all wondering. <laughs> well, Eric survived the toasty. Hey, I had. I think David asked and Heidi asked in an email. So. Wow. Well, I wondering. survived, everyone. Okay, let's just think about how logistically we're going to do this. I think we'll move the computer. Should we move the computer that the way? End. So if we don't see comments right away, Steve, you can be kind of should sure. close this. Yeah. You can look. See, that's what's scaring me is what Heidi just said. Rub the butter against your four fingers using the thumb on the same hand. So Heidi says, did you get bum burn, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to not have to say that. It was a brush fire. Hold on, you guys. Don't mind us. We're just kind of reconfiguring. We're very cash. So Heidi says, uh, rub the butter. So like. Yeah. Okay. So what do we do? Rub the butter like this? Well, once we... Hold on, I just got a mess Um. Okay. All right, guys, here we go. I feel like, I feel like, like cheerleaders ready. Okay. okay. Um, I'm gonna. We can maybe just tilt the camera a little down. There. We don't have to move inside. it. Dude, That's too tall. <laughs> yeah, but you can see seating because you're in front of the computer. That's true. So you want to tilt it down? It doesn't matter if they don't see our faces exactly. Like we can duck down to see our faces, but more just so that. We can, sorry guys, we didn't rehearse the logistics. This is live and unrehearsed. There, that's good. That's good. I'll zoom there. a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, that looks good. And then we'll zoom back out so you can see all our lovely faces. Is that good? <laughs> yeah. I feel like carry on Jeff and John. Yeah. This is my best view. Your chest? Canada. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were being a braggart. No, no. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Whew. It says mix dry ingredients together in a large bowl, with the exception of the sultanas, which are raisins. I had to Google that because okay. I didn't know what they were. So dry ingredients, flour, right? Yeah, so I guess that means everything, right? Flour, okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so flour it was one cup of flour. Yep. And then a pinch of salt. Are we doing it right? She's she yelling at us. Let's no, nothing yet. How was a how's I need a pinch just of salt? Like, just yeah. That's oh. Ooh. Maybe a little more than a pinch right a lot there. Of salt. Okay. Um, one teaspoon of nutmeg. One teaspoon of nutmeg. Yeah. That's a tablespoon. That's right? a tablespoon. Yeah. Uh, Just make there sure you go. I got a little closer. So like, one yeah. teaspoon, right? Nutmeg. Nutmeg. So here's our our nutmeg. Yep. No, you oh, it doesn't fit. Oh. You have to pour it. Yeah, but yeah. do it over the bowl. Oh well. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. Oh, good job, good job. There we go. That's pretty much leveled off perfectly, right? Yep. Okay. In goes the nutmeg. Um, question, Heidi. The like you that includes like the castor sugar too, right? I didn't know if that was just on top or in the because you said mix dry ingredients together in a large bowl with the exception of the raisins. So does that mean that we call icing sugar as well? Uh, let's see if she isn't. Uh... Just because I want to make sure that, because here it says you sprinkle the top with icing yes, sugar. Yes, add sugar as well. So okay. How, how much sugar? Well, we had half a cup of the sugar. Half a cup? That's half a cup in there. Put it all in? Put it all in. We can get extra to sprinkle on top. All of right. It. I'm, I'm nervous now, guys. I'll give them a little. There you go. So we did the flour, salt, nutmeg, sugar, and that's it. Yes, that's all the dry ingredients. So we got to mix them together. Use this? Sure. You can use your spoon. Wooden spoon wooden after wooden all. Spoon. Isn't this like. Thrilling? Super intriguing video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Eric, come on. 
Keep it in the bowl. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not good at this. If this wasn't my basement, I would totally just throw a flower in your face. <laughs> okay. Now it says, add marge and using thumbs against fingers, rub together to form breadcrumb consistency. Tip in sultanas and give a quick stir to distribute. So we add the margarine. Here you go. No, you got to do this. You me do it? Yeah. All right. And then. What do I do? You got to go like this. Oh, Heidi's asking, was that icing sugar or caster sugar? Uh, well, I Googled and I thought it was the same thing. So it's icing sugar. It was icing sugar. She thought it was the same thing. See, told you already uh -oh. screwed up. Is it really going to be bad if it's wrong? I don't know what caster sugar is. I thought I Googled it and it said it was like icing sugar. Or is caster sugar like just regular, regular sugar. white sugar? Uh-oh. It's okay. We, can, always, now, we, we well, can redo it. I have enough ingredients to redo it. It's a, if it's the wrong sugar. Why don't we just go ahead as is? That's do, why do, I was do, you want, like, do you want to redo it or just go ahead? Well, we'll just wait and see what she says. If it's better to just use regular sugar versus icing sugar, I'll do that. I'm just watching it with phone because this is a super slow to update. I'm so, oh, man. I can't believe, like, four ingredients. Oh. I just screwed up. It's okay. I'm positive I Googled it, but I could be wrong. Let's see what Heidi says. We're on pause. Time out until we get confirmation from Heidi if we're okay to continue. We use icing sugar instead of caster sugar. Or restart and use white sugar. Or re Yeah, or restart. Because that's why I was like, icing sugar seems weird. Yeah, we said no it. icing sugar, I would assume. Do you have regular white sugar? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no icing sugar is fine. It's still, but it'll be sweeter than usual because you're getting more icing sugar. Okay. Okay, that's, that's okay. Yeah, so yeah. what is caster sugar, Heidi? Is it just like regular white granular sugar? Or like this, this thin, I don't know. That's it. Okay, so we're good. So guys, carry on. Okay. Okay, so then you add the margarine and like you kind of have to like go like this to make a breadcrumb consistency. Like pour it in and then. Oh, pour it all in? Okay. And then I'll have to like mix it with my fingers. Wait, hold on. Add margarine yeah. and using thumbs against fingers rub together to form breadcrumb consistency. Okay, so add this. Right? That's all you. And then yeah, I'm, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> I've, I've washed my hands previously to this. Steve can. Do them in the pan. Should actually I turn it on? Yeah. What do I have to heat that thing to? It should just says um, okay. So like this. Heat. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. that's sloppy. <laughs> Did you wash your fingers? Yeah. <laughs> Too late now. Until it's breadcrumb consistency. Yeah, but you got to kind of mix it all in because it's like a dough, right? Yeah. Oh, I keep getting bits of icing sugar fly up on my face. I like the icing sugar. Okay, so yeah, I think you got it good. Is this right from consistency? Yeah, just kind of mix it all in. Oh, I think we might be doing okay so far. I don't think this is a total, is a total fail yet. No, nope, I thought it was for a second. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching. Yeah. I'm sure it's thrilling. This is a live cooking show. It's our first crack at this. And we went easy. We make it well, sort of our first crack. Last week was... Live cooking, but it was a sandwich. Is making a sure. sandwich cooking? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, David. Making a sandwich isn't a cooking, apparently. <laughs> well, it is if we use the griddle, but we don't. Okay. So don't okay. do it too much, I don't think. I think this is a breadcrumb consistency. Yeah. You're maybe just that corner there. I'll just hold it up so like this. Yeah. See? Bread Are we going to see this bread, breadcrumb consistency? It's pretty good. Okay. And then it says... <clears throat> Tip in sultanas and give a quick stir to distribute evenly. I kind of added a little extra raisins. What are sultanas? Raisins. <laughs> oh, that's... I didn't know. That. Should I wash my hands? No. Okay. I'll just, could you probably I'll just be that. careful not to make a mess. So mix it's in sultanas. Yeah. I yeah. added a few extra raisins because I like them. Raisins in? So then, then it says just stir to like... No stir with a spoon? Yeah, just so they're kind of mixed in. Oh, you're so. Nancy says, time to get messy. Nancy, that's Heidi's dream with Eric. Get messy. Oh. Oh, Heidi says, you can rub it between your fingers, too, like you're rubbing your hands together to warm up. So, like. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, what's... <laughs> what did Nancy They're, they're make, making Eric jokes. Oh, no. <laughs> um, Heidi says, David, you're right. I'm not going to lie. You're right. Because David said, Nancy, that's Heidi's dream there. Dream getting messy with Eric. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to sing the Ocean okay. Heart song. That's good. 
Uh, no. Heidi says, use the knife to bring it together. Add a splash of milk if it's not, qu not quite mulling together. We haven't added the egg yet, though. The egg's next. So add egg and using a butter knife, bring mixture together to form a dough. Add egg? Yeah, I can crack the egg for you. Sure, if you don't mind. Well, it's advantage. It's time to whip it. Whip it. Whip it. And apparently they have fancy names for eggs and call it a flax egg. We just got straight old Gersto eggs. I don't know what a flax egg is. It's all over the chicken's butt. So now this. I can mix this with, with my hand as well. The extent. No, I think you can use a, so use a butter using knife. a butter knife. Bring mixture together to form a dough. Everybody, how was that egg crack? I practiced. That was a good egg crack. I practiced. I mean, you could do different things if you wanted to, but. Ugh. I thought you just said egg may not be necessary, but that looks quite wet. Oh, <laughs> well, sorry, we have a delay. So can we add more like flour if it's too wet? Oh yeah, it's wet. Oh, this, I got more to mix in here. You're in the line of fire, I'm sorry. Now you're better using your hands and just like wash it up. What happened? <laughs> it's like you're going. It's the world's biggest bowl and deepest bowl, but you're slinging it out of you. It's a oh, little yeah, wet. It's really wet, it. Heidi. Can we add a little more flour? I don't think we need the milk. Very wet. It's almost like cookie dough consistency. But it's coming together. Okay. Oh, sorry. Spill came. Spill came all over the place here. Add a little extra flour. Okay. Add a little extra. I'll okay. Grab it. Only because the margarine was very soft. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. I was gonna go grab a couple of extra, uh, some extra flour. I'll talk with my hands right now. Mm -hmm. I think it's going so far, Eric. I think so far, so good. I think. Eric's My hands are a little gross. Eric's, Eric's being put to work tonight. No kidding. Can we add maple syrup to the top of them? That'd What's be fun. Head? Okay, I so wonder, do the, how much uh, flour should we do? Just a just little. A, just a little bit. Use it. And then um, shake it together. Just mix it and see how that uh, dries it up. Yeah. yeah, how it dries is supposed to be, I'm not sure. Like, well, I'll be able to tell. It's just like dough. This is like cookie dough consistency right now. Which yes. is okay, right? Bob the Raptor says, uh, as the Trudeau mammal might say, the ingredients are mixing moistly. Ah, uh, moistly. That's our PM right there. Well, this had a tiny bit more, but I think we're good after that. Yeah. Woo! Bam! Salt Bay. That was fun. Uh, he says, that's how your fingers are supposed to look when you're making them, right? Oh, nice. I'm doing it right then. If your fingers are clean, you're doing it wrong. That's right. David says, I have a friend who lives in the country who calls eggs cackle, cackleberries. Cackleberries? What the hell is a cackleberry? That sounds like a, okay. with the guy from... Okay. Uh, so you all put that up. It's fine. Here, scrape the stuff off your hands with a knife. Oh, this looks like... Okay. Um, Dough should be soft, but not sticky. Is it still too sticky? The dough? Yeah. Uh, it might be a little sticky. Okay. I'd say it's I'd say it's sticky. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty sticky. <laughs> <laughs> We're not cooks. <laughs> okay, more mixing. Yeah, like I, flour is the worst. No matter what you do, you just get it all over you. Yeah. Oh yeah, it definitely feels a little more thick now. I can feel that it's um, it's thickening. I think it's less for, it's less sticky. It's still pretty sticky. I don't yeah. think you guys can see that. says it should be soft dough, but not sticky. You need to be able to roll without sticking to the one thing. If need be, roll between two sheets of parchment or put the in the fridge a bit to firm. Okay, so if we roll, this is going to stick, isn't it? I don't know. Try making a ball. Okay. No, it's not sticking to your hands. No, it's good. Okay, that's okay. alright. Eric's making it look so over. Jelly Duck says, I think he needs gloves. Yeah. Ah. Too late now. Okay. <laughs> I'm in this now. We saw him. He washed his hands. Okay. Okay. Lightly flour workspace. Press dough down slightly and dust with a bit more flour. Then roll out to approximately. So we've got to roll it out. This is the workspace, right? Yeah. I need to. Yeah. Do you have more dough down here? Or the flour? Yep. Sorry, guys. Bear with us as we reset. Resetting for next piece. Do you have a rolling pin? I'll go grab one. 
Yeah. Hopefully I have a rolling pin. I forgot about that part. I have a rolling pin. It's okay. We You can use different things to roll it out. Want to put a little flower down on this? Sure. Right, that little flower here. Oh, Kelly goes to get a rolling pin. I have a rolling pin, oh. but it's like... Where's the heat coming from? Right there. It's not an official... It's like a... I don't know why it's plastic. Okay, Eric, keep going. What are we doing? Um, lightly flour. Press dough down, so put the dough kind of in the ball and then put it on. In one big ball and put it on here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he said it's still too sticky. It's still too sticky? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, you should probably see that. You can see it's like shiny. Apparently, I never, then I always get scared I'm going to put too much flour, but whatever. Well, it's, it's smarter to put little bits at a time, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Carrie on Jeff and John's here. A right, cooking right. show. Yes. Hey, carry on. We're not doing it justice, but it is a cooking show. Yeah, we're trying a Heidi's Welsh cake recipe today. Yeah. Okay, is that a little better? I think that's probably better. Okay. I don't know. Is it gonna? Do you think it'll roll good, or it needs to be mm, drier? Drier. Okay. I think it's gonna be drier still. My cooking instincts are saying <laughs> drier. Have we lost? Yeah, I just did a bit more flour. Have we lost everybody yet? Or are people still watching? No, you guys are still here. <laughs> Wait to see how this debacle turns out. Is Heidi singing dryer still? Well, she said there. that, but we just put more in. So. Oh, okay. They, we should have had them take bets beforehand on our. I don't think I can see this, but. Success of how this is going to be. Alright. So, what are you guys thinking with this? Good enough? David says, on this episode of this season's MasterChef Canada, Eric makes Welsh cakes. <laughs> I mean, it's not sticking to my hand. Well, you know what? We'll roll it out, and if we have to add more when we roll it. All right, we'll, we'll try rolling it and see what happens. All right, guys. Let's see how this next step goes. All right, here we go. Heidi and guys, we're going to try and roll it out. Okay. So we got it into a ball. Jeff and John says, put flour on your board instead of mixing. Yeah, we have flour on the board. Okay. That Now, to roll it, you roll it into one big... Cake is that? Oh, uh, it's uh, sticking a little Throw bit. A little more flour on top of it. Okay. But keep it like don't make them super thoroughly then. Okay. So you want it to be like half a centimeter, like yeah. Half Not a centimeter. Thick, but. Yeah. Kind of like pancake thick. And it looks like chocolate chips. It does, yeah. Maybe more flour. Yeah, sticking. it's still sticking like crazy. Okay. Apparently, we're under a of the flour. Yep. Here, you can stay in the middle. Okay. That's still sticking a bit. Flour on the rolling pin. Oh, yeah. I just, I just, I just ate some right there. <laughs> All right, flour me up. You guys, they're all cringing at us right now. Oh, yeah. They're like, what are you guys doing? Uh, <laughs> Especially <laughs> Jeff and John. They're probably like... He's a chef. Yeah, he's like, what? He's like, what are you guys doing to that Welsh cake? We promise we're trying our hardest. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really sticky. Nancy stuff. says, so far, so good. Keep going. Okay. I think that's probably, like, thin enough. Just do that end piece, maybe. Okay. Whoop. Yeah, that's good, because we don't want them to be, like... Okay. There we go. Okay. Now what? Now it says cut out like three inch rounds or what, anything I'll really do, she said. Oh, we're okay. just trying to cut So the we're just going to use the butter. I don't have a. Who's that? That's. It's going to be big. We'll just make a couple. Yeah. Oh, dear. What? You pushed and moved. Oh, sorry. It stayed all together pretty much. One. 
Just try and get three. Yeah, I'm going for three. three then... That way, we can try one. Yeah. Two, and three. Okay. Okay. So we need to get these separated. Just be careful. We might have to get the spatula. Um, then it just says reform and re-roll excess dough, but watch the amount of flour you use to avoid changing dough consistency, blah, 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 blah. Heat a heavy bottomed frying pan over medium high heat using a little bit of marge on a piece of kitchen roll. Slightly grease the pan. So we can just grease the pan. David says, message from Gordon Ramsay. Fuck me, I'm giving up. I can't even fucking close to this. Is it, that camera zoomed in all the way? Because we might be able to just zoom in behind us so we don't have to move. No, you can just zoom in a bit more, whatever you have. Okay. Is Steve going to do the cooking? Well, I'll let Steve do the cooking. Sure. Do you want to go? The, Steve's the grill master. So I can trans. Or we can just move this just over. Just carry it like that. I don't trust the. Yeah, I can probably just. My hand's kind of floury. Let me see if I can just pull them. Oh, this. they're really like. Yeah, you might need I, to get I under it. I think they're still too moist. Yeah. Yeah, they feel like they're still. Uh, Oh, yeah, and that's not going to work. I'm going to pick this thing. I'm probably this thing moves, but. Okay. Yeah, you can just put it beside you there. We'll, we'll readjust the. We'll get out of the way so they can just see Steve cooking. Yeah. Dispatch for you. All right. Hold on. I'm going to just readjust you guys. We don't want to take the camera off the. You can't really see, but. Do you want to move that bowl there? Yeah, move the bowl. All out of the way, so Steve's cooking. Is All right, ready? <laughs> uh, do they need to be moist or drier? Yeah, they're still pretty, uh, they're not holding their shape at all. It's okay. I mean, they don't have to look pretty. <laughs> all right, here we go, guys. I just said put the extra dough in the fridge. Once it firms up, it'll be easier to roll and get off the board. So hi, yeah, I think this I had this thing at 300 degrees. I brought it out here. I figure that's a good uh, a good temperature. They really look like chocolate <coughs> pancakes. They do. And then it says <coughs> cook for about two and a half, three minutes on first side. Should be a nice deep golden color. Flip, then cook another two minutes. Okay. Don't overcook. Message received. <laughs> I put some oil on this thing too, so it will stick. I, Spark. Yeah, I'm. Uh, they look good. They don't look pretty. They. But they look like they're gonna be good. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Do you want to grab a plate so I can th we can throw these on when they're done? I'll give a plate. Well, we made a good mess. Not as bad as I thought we would do. No, just be careful with the stools. There's a bunch of chunks on the floor there. I don't want to, I'm going to get out of the way so we can. It's the Steve, you're, it's all you. Cool. You're supposed to be like doing funny things. They can't even see me. Bah, 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 bah. It's my hands. Yeah, they're they're sitting, they're cooking here nice. I put some oil on that. Thanks, man. No worries. She said she usually has her griddle on low to medium heat. They should take about two minutes to go medium brown on one side. Okay. I'll give it another minute and try flipping one and see what it looks like. I'm just gonna kind of dart in your guys' way for a few minutes so I can clean this off so we can try them. They're still really uh, flimsy. So I'm a quick run. Let's see, put this down here. Just to use like this? Yeah. All right. Okay, they're starting to... Uh, they're starting to come together? I think so, yeah. Nice. Eric's just awkwardly going under the counter to clean up. He's not... Yeah, they're getting a little Just doing a quick right? sweep. <laughs> It just looks funny here. It is like this. Um, where are we putting these? Let's put them in the garbage. Oh, your garbage bag is gone. Yeah, let's put them in the bathroom garbage. I'm trying not to get in their way because it's watching you cook is more exciting than watching me. No, wait. it's not very exciting. They're just sitting here. It's <laughs> smell. I can smell like stuff. Eric, you just totally went from the. <laughs> no, I know. I didn't mean to. I was just trying to see like where the angle was. 
All right, I'm gonna give one of these a flip and let's see what to. Oh, uh, uh, the... oh, wait, here's the. Ooh! What? They looked good. Oh, there you go. That looks not too. Uh... That looks pretty Maybe good. Maybe a little darker, I don't know, but uh, it's definitely cooked. It was like sturdy. If you cook like. All together. Jackie's back. Hey, Jackie. Jackie. And carry on, Jeff and John said, do them in a frying pan. We 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 just didn't because logistically we didn't couldn't use the kitchen, so we're just yeah. So we had to cook down here. We were kind of limited, so we just used the griddle. Um, and then David said, if you cook like my mom, the smoke detector going off will let you know they're almost ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's about right for me too, probably. So after these are done, we have to put the uh, we'll put a little more on. icing sugar on them. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to just throw that all in the tray and pass me the tray? Yep. I'm gonna put the extra. Where was the milk? That was just if we needed moisture. Oh yeah, we we, we needed no moisture. We were good. Um, I'm going to put the extra dough in the fridge. We can okay. Them. Yeah, I was making them. This. They look good, Heidi. I'm looking forward to try these. I'm still waiting for the. Oh, wait, you guys forgot this marmite. <laughs> no, no marmite in this recipe. Yeah, these smell good, guys. I'm looking forward to try these. Yeah. Suck in here, I didn't realize I was so on camera. Oh yeah, these are these are nice, they're hard enough nicely. They really just look like pancakes. Yeah. I love pancakes, let's see. Ah, no, still another. Ah shit. Okay. This one really fell apart. It smells good down there. <laughs> well, I don't know if these are going to be perfect, guys, but they definitely smell good. Does he have a plate already? Yeah, he has a plate. Oh. I was about to tell you to the plate facing sugar. Oh, no. That works too, actually. Of course, to dip it in. Yeah, that's true. That's All right, I think these guys are. Uh, icing sugar. I think they're going to have done this one. They kind of fell apart. I might try to take a look at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to be Yeah, you wanna, I think they're... They should look done? I think so. Are they supposed to be the consistency of, like, pancakes? I think so. What's high, you can always spread Marmite if you really want to. Yeah, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Carry on, Jeff and John wants to you to flip one in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. Yeah, yeah, these things are not the staying together that great. All right, guys, so here... That's the. Whoop. I don't think they look as pretty as they're supposed to. Focus up. You want to try and sure. Where's the or focus button? Focus. I'm gonna put them down again. Okay. That's all wrapped around here, anyways. So that's them. I don't think they look as pretty. I think they kind of broke. Might have to get them thicker. Yeah, they kind of. The one fell apart. There it wasn't to. She said, I wouldn't dust them with icing sugar. Too sweet. They should be firmer than a pancake and more brown. Uh, it's a little firmer than a pancake, I'd say. Yeah. Kind of, it's like a cake. Like a, yeah. Yeah. Like a biscuit. Not a biscuit, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm just going to go grab some margarine then because nothing beats. Do you have to let them cool or eat them hot? Oh, I get it. I don't know. I'm going to eat them like this. Karen Jeffers said, the presentation is awesome. I know you're lying, Jeff and John, but uh, we'll take it. Yeah. No, these would be good. I'm looking forward to try these. Yeah, David says they get broken where they are going. That's true. They're not going to be one piece for long. This is true. I think the flavor might might matter more than the presentation in this case. But they smell good. Yeah, they I smell can smell them upstairs. They smell great. Yeah, I'm looking forward to try these. Mmm, they they definitely smell a little like like pancakes, almost like. Is you a pancake and a cookie or something? Yeah, they're kind of like a mishmash of the two. I'm just going to go yeah. wash my hand quick. I don't know. Sure. I got flour all over it. Mm. Just wash his hands. Yeah? It's okay, come on on camera. Just the hide over there in the corner. No, I was trying to make you have to dump that air. Oh, you don't want that. I don't okay. want that. I think we've regrouped. Okay. Look, we have Lysol wipes, one of the rare things that we Yeah, I know you guys actually have Lysol wipes. Lucky. Here you couldn't find Lysol like, wipes anywhere. So. Okay. Yeah, best, more, 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 more now. Heidi okay. said best right from the griddle. 
Sit down. So eat them warm. Yeah. I'm just gonna fix the camera for a little bit. Right. Heidi says it's hard to explain the texture if no one's ever. Uh, uh, carry on, Jeff and John. Heidi sent us a couple of Indian recipes that not quite brave enough yet, but we will try it. Sometime. No, I think what we're going to do. We're starting with something really simple. For we're going to just order because we don't really eat a lot of Indian foods. So we're kind of new to it. We might just order it on a live stream and just try it with everyone. I uh, keep thinking it's chocolate chips. I know. Me too. I'm just dipping it in butter because I don't. Are you supposed to have? I'm gonna have one. You can have whatever you want. I'll try it plain first. Oh, that felt right. <laughs> Ew, that's so awkward. <laughs> I'll pass this over to Steve. Thank you. No worries, I'm gonna get my drink. Heidi's <laughs> oh, yeah. like, I feel sick. What if you hate them? It has nothing no. to do with your recipe. Your recipe, I'm sure, is fantastic. We're uh, okay, ready. The oh, they smell good. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go, guys. Ready? Heidi's Welsh cake recipe. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Nice and warm. Mmm. Mm, the raisins are good. Yeah. I love the raisins in these. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Mmm. That's really good. I wonder what it would taste like with It's got ice. a little bit of, uh, like, not a crunch to it, but, you know, it's uh, it's cooked well, so it's, you know, it's crispy. Sort mm. of. I like that. I'm going to try, I want to try a little more of, uh, I think I would I make. I'll sprinkle a little uh, baking or, uh, Ice and sugar on it. I think I would make them That's thicker true. next time. And good. yeah, but they're good. But I think thicker would be good because then they're more like a. That's good. It's almost like um. I don't think what it tastes like. I've had some similar to this before. Yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't put my finger on it. David wants to know was it worth the trip? I'm going to start. Uh, that was not a delay. In the, uh, is it worth the trip? Just trying to read the chat here, but yes, worth the trip. Those are really good. I really like those. And if we if we like no, the ones, try some with some. Uh, if we like the ones yeah. that oh, that's really good. If we like the ones that we made, then that means the ones that like Heidi would make would be even a hundred times. That's better. true. If we, if we like them made by amateurs, have them, if it was made by a pro, even better, right? Yeah. Like so. You, yeah, I'm, I'm saying worth the trip. Yeah. Yeah, worth the trip for sure. And you know, it would be really good. You could put some like jam on them if they yeah. were like. Thicker. Oh, strawberry jam? I don't know if that's a no no on these, but I think strawberry jam would be fantastic. I think you can add whatever you want and use the proper sugar. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We didn't use the proper sugar. We They were too wet when we um, rolled them out. But I don't mind. Like, it doesn't taste bad with no, the no. Same sugar. It's no, good. It tastes good. Can you pass me those Clorox wipes? I just mm. have butter all over my lap. Oh. That's nice with a little bit of extra icing sugar on it. That there you go. Did you want to try some? Yeah, I do. I'm going to try this one with some sugar. Mm. Oh, good. All right, I had it naked. I'm going to try it with a little sugar on it. Just makes it a little sweeter. That's really nice. And like I said, if we're loving them this much and our amateur hands made them, I can't, like, I can't even imagine if Heidi actually mm. made them fresh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with the sugar on it? <laughs> I like it better. It just makes it a little, really? yeah. Yeah. I'll try a little, a little sugar. sprinkler of sugar. I find them sweet enough already, but mm, so yeah, that's so, uh, they're sweet. But I put that icing sugar just that with like a nice and have a cup of coffee or a tea or something. That'd be really good. That'd be really good. But I'll try with a rum and coke. Cut. Mm. Mm, the icing sugar is good. That works too. I if you sprinkle icing sugar on top of like any kind of baked good, it makes yeah. it better. Mm -hmm. Hey, we could put maple syrup on top. So. The question about Welsh cakes, is this like a breakfast thing or like That's what Heidi's is saying it a dessert? Here. In the south of Wales, they split them in half, spread them with jam, and sandwich them back together. So make it like a Oh, like a jam buddy or something. And then in the north we just eat them straight. And then David says, Branson pickle, you need something to cut the sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here with your branch of pickles, man. Damn you, damn it, I've learned my lesson. I feel like that they are something that you would have like for breakfast or when you have tea. Who's gonna have some more? You guys want any more? Yeah. I know that's nice. I'm gonna take this piece. I'll just pass both the how much I need that plate. No, I want the sugar. There you go. Let me just Lord. Sorry, guys. The whole stream is just going to be that meeting. Yeah, we're, <laughs> I'm finishing this off, so he's going to have the other one. And I this is really good. I have a bunch more to make. Uh, any cooking tips? Don't use soft margarine because apparently that made it 
really moist. And then I think next time it was too wet when we rolled it out. But I think I would do what I just did: put a bunch in the fridge to firm up. Yeah. And then I probably wouldn't roll them as thin. I think I'd like them thicker. A little thicker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see. It's hard to see from here. This is how thick they are. It's about, I'd say, like a centimeter, maybe two centimeters thick. Maybe that's how they're supposed to be. It's probably, like, yeah, definitely two centimeters thick. But, but, but yeah, these are delicious. Yeah, they're really good. She mm. said it's an every time thing, Eric. Are you even Welsh if your kitchen doesn't have a tub of Welsh cakes on standby? Yeah, those would be good to have just, yeah, in the fridge. You can just, if they're on standby, do you heat them up? Throw them in a toaster or the oven or something to heat them up, eat them cold. However, you probably want them. Yeah, yes. mm. I'm sure they have like a preference. I need to bake more. That was and that was really easy. Like it was easy. Yeah. It was probably longer than it took us a long time because we were reading step by step. Yeah. So notes for next time: don't use super soft margarine, right? Or cool it before we roll it. Cool it before we roll it. Yeah. Um, have just put regular sugar in to start. This the icing sugar is just the topping on the end. Yeah. Right? And I think that's it. Otherwise, I think so. And thicker, yeah, thicker. Maybe, yeah, maybe a little thicker, but and then Heidi said, uh, "Yeah, they're supposed to be thicker, Kelly, but because the dough is a bit softer, they spread a little more on the fiddle." Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, because it kind of came like they're definitely more of like a pancake. But we didn't want you guys shape and size here, but tough to sit here and wait for them to harden up in the fridge. <laughs> so yeah. we just went for it, but we just jumped right in. The leftover ones are in the fridge, and we also made them big, bigger than mm -hmm. recommended. But yeah, hopefully that was somewhat entertaining for you guys. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Thank it, you, Heidi, for sending us that recipe. Thank really you very much, yeah. It. Wasn't as hard as we thought. Caster sugar. I need to find out what caster sugar is in my language. Yeah. <laughs> Basically idiot language. Is that just like regular, sh what like regular is, sugar? She explained it, but mm. what is caster sugar? Hmm. I am just to battle this thing here. It's really good. Okay, so it's sugar that is the consistency between granulated and powdered sugar. Mm. Super fine sugar, baker sugar. Yeah, so we could just use regular sugar. Yeah, okay. So we weren't too far off, just needed no. some uh, regular baking sugar. Yeah. But that was fantastic. That was really good. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, they're enjoying them. They I would do more raisins. I had like two bites and then they took the rest. The raisins are nice, yeah. They are probably my fault on that. I probably didn't mix the, the raisins through enough. And you know what? I added extra raisins. It only called yeah. for a quarter of a cup and I did half a cup. Yeah. And my, like. Because I didn't mix everything totally evenly, there was definitely some parts that had more raisins than others. Castor sugar in North American talk, I just Googled it. So basically it's a sugar that's between the consistency of icing sugar and granulated sugar. So it's like a fine sugar. Like that's what Google told me. So it's fine sugar. It's a fine sugar. Mm. Oh, that was really good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you. That'd be really good on like a rainy day with some coffee or something. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it was nice. Nice because like you know it's a good solid snack, but it's not like yeah. super heavy or like filling no. or you know. How often yeah. do you have like a warm like bake good in your house? Mm -hmm. For me, <laughs> for me, yeah, never. Yeah. <laughs> um. Heidi, can we share this recipe with anyone, or is it like if it's a yeah, a, I think it's, a family secret we won't share it. Yeah, yeah, because it's like if not, we can we can share it on a community tab on YouTube, so anyone can uh, check it out if they want. Yeah, we can add to the comments or to the description of the video. Yeah, but that was and out of all the recipes Heidi sent us, that was the easiest one. That, that was the simplest. No, that was so it really wasn't that, that difficult. It was just more us not I, necessarily being one hundred percent confident with our baking abilities I and stuff. I think if but. we made it again, it would be easier because now, you know, you just literally put it all in the bowl. And yeah, yeah. That yeah. was super simple to make as I sat here and watched Eric do it all, but it, you know, <laughs> but it didn't seem very complicated. You know the important part. You actually cooked it, right? If you That's cook it, it wrong, then... Yeah, but no, it seemed like it was a fairly easy uh, process to make, which is cool. Yeah. And that's... Heidi's right. I'm reading her comment. It's There's a delay, so I'm reading it on the phone. But she said you can have them in half an hour, and that's the thing, it's quick, not even. Yeah. Uh, Joe's complaining about us. <laughs> We're not eating healthy, he has to go get some bacon. Yeah, oh, bacon, yeah. Those bacon would be good, wouldn't be good bacon. with that. Oh, man. Bacon like, you can do those, better. it does. You could do, like, those instead of pancakes and have, like, those are bacon and mm -hmm. eggs, probably. Yeah. Like, we could probably, I would put, like, with that size we did, I would totally put butter on top and then put maple syrup on top and eat it like a pancake. Oh, I know. 
They were delicious. How Canadian is that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like a pancake, yeah. <laughs> no, that was, those were really good. I really, that was nice with the raisins and stuff like that. It was nice. Yeah, so like I said, if, we look, if we're raving about the ones that we made, I can't imagine actually real professional made Welsh cakes. Yeah, if we had them like, made by a pro, yeah, probably blow our minds. But oh, how you said uh, it's a family recipe, Steve, but share away. That makes that people enjoy them. Sweet. Cool. I'll do that then. I'll uh, I'll put it on our community tab, so you guys will see the 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 uh, PDF she sent us, wherever the photo of the recipe. And if you want to try and make them, well, I might just yeah, we'll put it up there. Yeah, yeah. But you everybody watch it, make them you too. <laughs> but they're really easy. And then if you guys make them, you're gonna have to like. I don't know, add a picture or like email it to it. I don't know. We can share it somehow and show Heidi. Yeah, Heidi like, would like, probably put love it on to your see Instagram it. and tag us in it. We're the trips. That's yeah, right. you can share like how it went for you guys. Because Heidi would probably love to see people trying it. Probably. Yeah, well, she'd probably be a real kick at us seeing people making her recipe and uh, yeah. hopefully doing a, doing a good job with it. Yeah, we tried our best not to butcher it, but that was good. I don't remember the other. She sent us a bunch of Indian recipes where I can't even. Like, I don't even know what half the words in the recipe mean. <laughs> so that might be a little bit of, like, bit of a challenge. Google figuring yeah. out, and then we'll see. I, I'll pause this now for the script and write it. <laughs> no, we can read it, no problem. No, the, the, the writing was fine to I I learned to read. It's just the, the contents I love of, your, the, of, the, of the recipes. I love your detail of, like, literally laid out step by step. That's what I needed. Even then, I still that, we still have to ask questions. Well, it was, again, the biggest thing we kind of found was when we were doing like, the, with the type of raisins and Thanks, stuff Shelly like Duck. that. Take care, Jelly Duck. Thanks for joining us. Yes. Have a great weekend. Sorry, Steve. Um, what can I remember saying now? It wasn't important, I'm sure. No. Well, oh. no, I was just saying that, uh, no, what was confusing was like the type of raisins, the caster sugar. That was the things we're for our, here. Like, wait, what? You know, yeah, caster sugar is not a term we're familiar what's with. That's you know, what kind of raisins are those? Well, I wouldn't, I didn't know that sultanas were raisins. I figured they were some sort of like dried fruit or something, and then I googled it, and apparently it's just a very British way to say raisins. Were you said sultanas, know. I thought saltines. That's what I thought. No. It too. I was like, too. saltines, yeah. I don't know. I was thinking some sort of fruit because of what it was, but I just wasn't sure. And then when I googled, it's like, and even they have them in the British food aisle at Walmart. They have specific ones that are called saltinas. I just got oh. plain raisins, but I think the saltanos are like the paler ones as well. Oh, they're a little more yellowy? I think so. Yeah. Well, raisins yeah, are raisins. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's weird that it's funny that you go to them like they have like the foreign foods out and it's British food. <laughs> you know, it doesn't seem so like No, it exotic. doesn't seem like, yeah. But um, definitely. It's definitely cool that they have it though now. I mean. Because before that, you had to go to like a specialty store. Yeah, they had like, you know, they're still around, but yeah, they're like the British. Grocers and order. You guys ate those too fast on me. What, do you want more? Well, I was going to have more, but you guys were just like. <laughs> so I'll tell you what. Cook some more if That's you okay. want. That's okay. I'm not fighting it. Um, but yeah, we did We did that fast in like half an hour. Clean up, set up. Well, I pre-set everything up, so we weren't yeah, like measured everything. fumbling around. But, but yeah, it would, didn't take long to get that stuff done. No, no, it was pretty quick. Well, I'm going to have to make that for breakfast. I feel like it's a morning type of food. Yep. Just. For my own self, so I might have to try that for breakfast. Hmm. I don't like grapes or sultanas, but love raisins. But that just That's, confuses me. Yeah, because from what I know now, sultanas sound like they're pretty much raisins, just like paler ones. Yeah, that's what Heidi said. You can use raisins or sultanas. Same, same. Sme, sme thing. Different color. <laughs> color. Same, same thing. thing. Well thought, correct. I figured that's what I meant, but Smay thing. Smay. Bob the Raptor and Joe say, I was thinking of a Carlos Santana mammal, not raisins. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was a lot of fun, Heidi. Thank you. I'm glad we finally got to do it after. Yeah. Yeah, it took us a couple of weeks to get to it. We had tried it, or we're going to do it, and then logistically, we're like, uh, I don't know if we can do this. And then. Yeah. We got to figure it out and yeah. mm -hmm. try it out. Yeah, it was good. It was uh, that was a lot of fun, and those they tasted really good. So I'm glad we made them because I like having them again. And I'll be yeah. honest, like we mostly did it down here because my kitchen's really messy, and that was a whole like commitment to have to clean it. So no, <laughs> it's yeah, just like, like oh uh, well, do it down. Move all the furniture and stuff around and everything. Well, like, not that, just the kitchen's messy. There's well, that's crap good, yeah. everywhere. So mm. you know, it seemed like a lot of work. We're like, ah, we'll just do it down here. Well, because we just got that griddle, so that made it be a lot easier. Like, oh, we can just cook on that thing. 
But I don't know. What else do you guys want to chat about? I feel like we kind of just peaked and then now yeah, we're just sitting here kind of like. I'm kind of in a bit of a carb coma right now. I know. I'm just like, that's that, really like, good. Yeah. I'm just ready really to like sit back and relax for a minute. Yeah, those are really good. I was, uh, I figured, you know, they're called cakes. So anything called cake has to be good. Monday and I'm cake. pretty sure that <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I've had homemade ones before because when I was younger, my next door neighbor, they were like they were from Wales. Like they, when I was ten or eleven, they moved from Wales to the house beside me, and mm. they used to make like what are they called, like crumpets or something, and like Welsh cakes and scones? all that stuff, scones. So I used to. I'm pretty sure I've had them before, so I kind of knew what they were. Okay. But I've never like made them or anything. It they're, was a long time ago. They're mess maybe that's what they remind me of maybe like a scone a little bit. That's what I'm trying to think of. It's kind of like it that's why I think of it as like a when you have tea. Because mm. they my neighbors, they would like every day at, I can't remember what time it was they had their like tea time. It was very, very Welsh. Very Welsh. They made their their tea time with their scones. Yeah. Yeah. And their stuff. No one wants just scones and crumpets. I haven't had a crumpet in forever. I've never had a crumpet, but we yeah, like, we used them all the time as a kid. I've never had a crumpet. I don't think my parents always bought them. Oh, they bought them. Yeah, I didn't make them, but they're just little. Yeah, David, you should try making them with Heidi's recipe and do a video. And then yeah, for it. sure. Like I said, well, we can even if you want it, we can send you the message. Uh, or send you the, the recipe. Because I don't think I actually read out every ingredient properly, so it's probably better if you just get it straight from the straight from the Heidi's the, the paper. Straight from the, yeah. Straight from the recipe. Because yeah. <laughs> I think I was like, you know, all over the place, and I changed. I don't know. Yeah, we'll just send you a copy. Yeah, we ad lived a little bit, not too much though. Heidi says they're a cross between a scone, a pancake, and a biscuit. Hard to yeah, hard to be precise, precise about it. Because they're like they remind me of the shape of a pancake, but. The consistency is not a pancake. No, no, no. no. But then the consistency is kind of like a biscuit, but a scone. So that's a really good description. It, you're right. You can't really describe it until you try it. Mm -hmm. No. David says, I love scones. My mom makes the best. Mm. Ooh, I bet. Homemade stuff's always the best. You can't beat it. You know, you can buy stuff at the store, but it's never the yeah. same as like homemade. Even like at the bakeries and grocery stores, it's still not the same. No, no. Yeah. It's like my grandma always made the simplest thing. It was a bacon and tomato sandwich on white bread, white toast with butter and mayonnaise. And it was just bacon and tomato. Simplest sandwich ever. But she made it so good. Like I can't, my mom's tried doing it. Like I've tried doing it. It tastes terrible. I do it the exact same way. But it's so just that. It, touch. It's all about. The she had a secret ingredient. She used to like. Love. Push, Love. She used to push it down before she cut it. So it would be like squishy. And yeah. Like, yeah. It's just one of those things that you can't replicate. She had a way just to make it like together. Just perfect. Yeah. So good. I wish we, I could do that. Well, practice maybe. It doesn't matter. That's the point. Is that this is true. not her making it, right? So. This is true. No, and that's the thing, no matter who makes it, it's not going to be the same for you. That was delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. I'm going to just pull up and see if I can see the email and just yeah. see what other things that Heidi sent because I can't remember. Yeah. So what did you guys think? Did you guys like watching us like try and cook stuff? Was that – never sure if, like, you know, this is entertaining or, like, if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. It was a boring. It was it was an awful. Was a boring. Hopefully Eric not. gets really worried. You guys are bored. I know I do. He does. He gets a little stressed. Not bad stress, but just he wants to make sure that. Well, I, well, we I, all I, do. I want to make sure, like, you know, we have engaging, interesting yeah, stuff to show, of right? So I mean, uh, you know, it's I think it's I think it's more interesting watching us cook stuff. Yeah. Maybe just you know, if we didn't have to look work on our presentation, that's all. I think it was pretty good. I mean, yeah, we're not. That was like our first a, crack at it too. Sorry, I'm just answering a work message while I do that. Ugh, work. Work sucks. <laughs> work does suck. It's Friday, though, so I'm – later work. And Eric got told that he's probably going to be working from home until September -ish. Probably working from home until September. I just got the notice today. So that's – I think it's good. Because yeah. my, my commute's pretty far. I drive about an hour to an hour and a half one way. Is that with or without traffic? That's, so it's – with traffic an hour, sorry, with without traffic an hour, with traffic about an hour and a half, one that's one way. It's about really what, dramatic. I know. I think the light. It's about what seventy kilometers one way. I think it was about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. 
Thank you, Nancy. She said it was enjoyable to watch. Thank you. David says, my Nana used to do an egg custard. It was so good. I have the bowl. She used the recipe. Can't even get it close. It's true. No, it's true, yeah. Heidi said, my Nan used to make the best potato scallops, just battered slices of potato dipped in batter and shallow fried lots of blah, blah, blah. Massive treat. Not one of us can make them like her. It's because it's the love. It's the it's love that, yeah. that's in it. It's never going to be replicated. It makes me so sad because I, and it's usually really simple things. Like you said, like, potato scallops are like a tomato and bacon sandwich. Like yeah, it's not some stuff. Super, <coughs> excuse me, it's no super elaborate recipe. Though. It's like my mom with, for me, with her lasagna when she makes the homemade lasagna. I can, she can give me the recipe. Like, I can try and it's just not yep. the same. Yeah. 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 Everyone's got a specialty, I feel like. Like, my mom's apple crisp is like fantastic. I've never had apple crisp as good as what she makes and you could probably copy her recipe exactly yeah like, like i think like her sister has the exact same recipe yeah nothing against answer's recipe or when she makes it it's, it's good it's just, but it's just it's not, not as good the same, as, yeah. yeah it's just not the same somehow i think and you know it's funny even my cousins they say the same thing they're like we prefer when my mom yeah. makes it versus when their own mom makes it i think it's because it's like i think it's the connection to the brain that you have with like oh it makes you happy <laughs> memories of like your grandma or your nan or your nana or your mom right yeah. so it's like that automatic like connection that happens it's just it's cool yeah. he wants to know what is apple crisp what is, is apple like, crisp? is it like apple crumble um sort of eric's the apple crisp expert so so it's like um it's sliced apples uh it's like a in a pan sliced apples in the bottom of the pan mixed with cinnamon and some sugar and then there's a layer on top it's like a, a crispy layer on top of the apples that's consistent of, uh, it's got oatmeal in it. Like oats, I guess? Oats, oatmeal, and some brown sugar yeah, mixed, brown in, sugar, mixed yeah. in there as well. So the top layer is crispy with the oatmeal and the brown sugar. And the bottom layer is um, apples with cinnamon. Yeah. And, yeah, you, you, kind of, you kind of square of that, serve it with some ice cream or whipped cream, and it's fantastic. And it's, like, the simplest dessert. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, it's a staple. My parents used to, my mom or dad used to make those always good. I think yeah. it's because it's so like easy to other than chopping up the apples yeah yeah I mean, chopping yeah. up the apples is definitely the hardest part of the, the work but i'm not a huge it. apple crisp fan <gasps> but i like it like to oh, me no. you have to have it with vanilla ice cream like pretty much every like big family holiday where we all get together like christmas and like thanksgiving and stuff someone's always bringing it out yeah my mom makes apple crisp all the time my I used to love my grandma's strawberry shortcake i probably couldn't even tell you what was in it but it was so good Yes, it's funny, and I the same thing because my parents with their apple crisp. Where every I've never had an apple crisp as good as theirs. Yeah, yeah it's weird. I don't know. I'm not a huge apple crisp fan, so I usually don't eat it. I haven't had it forever. I should tell my parents to make it again. It's been years since I've had it. <laughs> Call them up. mom, dad, yeah. apple crisp. Uh, but yeah, and it's a very like to me, apple crisp is a very like fall, winter. Yeah, yeah, like, dessert. yeah. And David says, my nan's been gone 28 years. I can still taste her cooking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm the same with my granny. She's been gone a long time, but uh, remember, she would make tortillera, which is like a French Canadian dish. Mm. Oh, it's funny. My my grandma passed away two years ago, and two years already. Yeah. Whoa. No. Oh, one year. One year. Year and a half. Year and change. Yeah. Year yeah. and change. And uh, she like before because she, she was like 90 when she died, so like a couple of years before that, she used to make every holiday. She'd make pizza rolls. Mm -hmm. And my mom, God bless her, has been trying to yeah. recreate my grandma's pizza rolls, like, for a year. Because mm -hmm. me and my sister have been craving them. And I'm not trying to be mean to my mom. But she just hasn't done it. It's just, it's <laughs> just not she, right. she's sad not to, but she never will. She never will. And she yeah. knows she it. Might as well like, just not make she yeah. knows it though, but now because it's kind of like a funny joke because she knows they're not going to be good, but she keeps trying. And it's fine because like a pizza rolls, like they're not bad at all. They're just not this like, not as good as your oh grandma's. my yeah. grandma made those. Yeah. But it's so funny because she's, she's trying real hard. She even has my grandma's old recipe that she had like written out by hand and she's trying so hard to replicate it, but it'll well, never happen. never the same though. It's tough. But David it's says, it sounded like David said, that sounds so good. So you want to see like the sound of the apple crisp. Mmm, yeah, apple crisp is delicious. Apple like, crisp is really good, yeah. In the fall, at uh, Christmas time, it's probably my favorite dessert. Like, yeah, when when it gets cold outside. Yeah, I haven't like I haven't had it in a while, but it's uh, it's always good. Yeah, my parents used to make a lot when we were kids. I just love the topping because my parents always go really more brown sugar than oats. Yeah. Yeah, your apple crumble sounds this sort of similar to what the crisp was. 
We're just reading it. Again. Yeah. Sounds like it's similar, yeah. Mm. Now I really want some like, more like baked goods. I know. Hey, My sweet tooth has been, just has been triggered. I got. Okay. I need more food. I just learned something that probably the rest of the world knew. Well, maybe not, because if you're not in Canada, but I just found out. Call. Yeah. Like this is so dumb, but like Joe Louis, like are only in Canada. Yeah, you're saying that because the company of Bashan, I guess they're in Montreal. Joe Louis, yeah. like, has yeah, anybody really, had yeah. a Joe Louis? Do you guys know what a Joe Louis is? If you guys get your hands on a Joe Louis, do it. You won't be disappointed. They're fantastic. And then the the passion flakies are bash on as well. Yeah. Because I was like, oh look, they have a summer lime flavored like filled, a key lime one, a key lime filled yeah. one. So I was really excited, and then I realized like nobody's gonna know what the hell we're talking about. I know. Yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, but Jackie would know what, and I don't know if Nancy's from Canada or not, but Jackie would know what. Uh, Jackie. Passion, is it passion flakes? Passion flakes. Passion flakes. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what they are, but oh, I just got my invite for game night. They're trying to swipe it off the screen. <laughs> it's like it's not a tablet. Um, but yeah, I was like, nobody's gonna know what the hell they are, but yeah, Jackie would know. But they are fantastic. If you guys can find them, David. What else? Was he not a baseball player? Who? Joe Lewis. Oh. No, he was. Uh, was He's he a fighter. He was a boxer. He was a boxer. Yeah. Joe Lewis. Joe Louis? Because in uh, Detroit, well, Joe Louis, but in Detroit, that was the arena where the Red Wings and stuff played, was Joe Louis Arena. Yes. Yeah. Now, and torn down, and it's now the Little Caesars Arena. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of corporate sponsorships. All the same. Thing, all those things that are named after historical figures is now named after, like, a company. Yeah. Yeah. And Little Caesars is a. Just go on banners and back again. It seems like it's. It doesn't sound right. I'm there. going to the Little Caesars Arena to watch a hockey game. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, so Joe Louis, yeah, he, was a, he was a boxer in like the 20s or 30s, maybe, something like that. I'm not so. sure. But. We're slow to read your comments, just we have a bit of a delay, so I'm trying to... Yeah, we're using um, StreamYard tonight. There's a bit of a delay between StreamYard and the actual live stream. So, David just said, I have a few microwave food reviews coming up and a couple of easy food cooks, but I think I will dig out my family cookbook and do some real food videos. Yeah. Oh, cool. Ooh. That sounds good. Heidi said, food coming your way next week, Eric. What? Just, wait, hold on. Just for Eric, can't we have some too? <laughs> I was fine with that. That's this sounds nice. good to me. We'll give you. We'll send you Eric's address. There you go. <laughs> oh. Chocolates made. Chocolates made last night, so we'll post early next week. Just Ooh. gonna post them. Just Whoa! Go to the post. Go to the post. Uh, and then Jackie said, "Huh? LOL." So I don't know if that's in response to the Joe Louis passion flaky thing. I'm not sure. Maybe. Or to David saying he's not a was he not a baseball player? I don't know, Jackie. You must know what Joe Louis and Passion Flickies are, right? Nancy said no. Sorry, not from Canada. Sounds good though. They're very good. Yeah. Okay, so that's the one. So I didn't talk about Joe Louis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Joe Louis have been a. I've had them since I was a kid. Like, yeah. But yeah, they just remained in Montreal. But they're. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna. I have one upstairs. You want to see one? Just because? Why not? <laughs> Let's they're show really the people. good. They're We're like, gonna show the people what a Joe Louis is. They're like the dumbest thing ever. Like, like the simplest thing ever, but they're so freaking good. Yeah. And they're cheap. Okay, guys. You might have you, to take it out and rip it in half. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna show you. This is it. It's they come prepackaged. It's just like a chocolate, uh, almost like a moon pie. It's or like something. A it's like a chocolate cake. You wanna open one up? Well, yeah. Okay, hang on. Showing them in the you can't tease them. Now we'll put it away. We can split this one. Heidi, Heidi sure. said it'll be addressed to you, so you're queen of the box. Who gets goodies? You decide. <laughs> oh, Jackie's not sure what you're asking. Oh, sorry. Oh. I was just saying, Jackie, that I just discovered this week because apparently I'm an idiot that Vashon, like Joe Louis, are only in Canada because Vashon's a Canadian company. Can you... Yeah, I'm trying to. Because Vashon's a Canadian company, and I didn't realize that. So people in the states and stuff don't know what Joe Louis is. Okay. Yeah, Joe Louis or Passion Passion Flakies. Yeah. And here, I'll show you guys. This is a. Uh... There it is. It's like where is it? So oh, that's it there. Yeah. So it's like a chocolate dipped in chocolate, and it's like a chocolate. It's just a chocolate cake, basically. Cake, and it's like a cream filling. Yeah. These things are so good. You buy like a box of like twelve eight? or eight. It's like two boxes. Like two, two, two or two boxes <laughs> for like five bucks. Yeah, Jackie, I didn't know. I feel like it's one of those things that I just 
was the last Magic. person on earth. I always get that. so pumped when we have something the states doesn't. I know. And it, I, it's nothing against the states, but they always have all the things we don't. We, like we have to, they get things first usually. We have to wait to get them. And it's not. This is not even the states. This is like this Everywhere. is exclusive like, to us. Apparently, I know. yeah. It is like a wagon wheel, except it's all cake and not biscuit. Yeah. And the middle is cream, not marshmallows. Yeah. Not yeah. really, but kind of. It, it it looks like a wagon wheel. But so we have a couple of. Um, yes. We have a couple of people that are U.S. viewers that we've sent some Canadian goodies to before, and uh, the Roche vlog. If you've seen them in here. And I'm excited because I was like, oh, we have nothing else to send them, but I'm going to send them some Joe Louis and passion yeah. flakies. And ketchup chips, you were saying. Ketchup too. chips. We have wagon wheels here too, guys. They're, I have, those are good too, but they're, they're, like a, they're like a biscuit, like a cookie. I just make such a mess of these things when I eat them because mm -hmm. I take the top layer off and look all the icing. Yeah, you can't really – you can do that with a wagon wheel, but these are like – You can do it because it's – what is this, cake? It makes a big mess. Yes, Heidi, you're right. Looks so. It looks like a wagon loop, but in fact, it's totally different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're good. They're, nice. they're always so. I don't know how they what's in them, but they're always nice and fresh and like. They're almost mm. like a little cake. Yeah. So I said it was just like a chocolate cake. That was an Eric moment right there because I said it like four times. <laughs> no, I know what you guys are. No, I know what you guys are talking about. I was too busy <laughs> showing the jello to everyone. Um, mm. This has been a great stream. We've had Welsh cakes and now Joe Louis. Yeah, oh. they're not like Canadian cakes. <laughs> I just want to eat junk food in our streams all the time. Uh, may so maybe, I don't know what's in them, but I'm uh, I'm sure the cream's probably some kind of dairy. I was going to say I could send Heidi some of these. Why am I going blank on what they're called? Joe Louis. Joe Louis, but I don't know if you can eat them. No, but fine. David, we can send, because David said he has our food parcel ready and other couple of things. Yeah, we'll send you some Joe Louis, David. David, thank I wanna, you. That's so nice. I want to send David a bunch of stuff. Even though he's been to Canada numerous times, he's probably tried a lot. Actually, maybe he's already tried Joe Louis. Mm. Damn it, David. He might have, yeah. Oh, hey, Travel Kiwi. Thanks for joining us. Happy Friday. Thanks for joining us. We just tried Heidi, who's in the chat right now. We just tried her Welsh cake recipe. Mm -hmm. They were fantastic. They were really good. And we only mildly screwed them up. We actually made them <laughs> ourselves. We took all the ingredients and then cooked them up in the back. Our amateur hands cooked them all by ourselves. And we, they tasted good. We have no chill. Poor guy just came in and we're like, <laughs> I know. I gotta tell everybody what we just did. <laughs> no, just That's like me when visitors come to my house. Like, person. <laughs> you're like a, you're like a dog when someone comes to the house. I know. I'm like, new person. Yeah, exactly. Um. But David, if there's any Canadian stuff that you haven't tried that you know we have, tell us. Because yeah. it kind of sucks that you've been here, so you've probably tried a lot. Yeah, we can put a box together. Heidi's a little trickier because she's uh, vegan, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so we got to. What about ketchup chips? Those are vegan. Are ketchup chips vegan? I have no idea. Uh, I think they must be, right? Because it's ketchup powder on potatoes. The only thing is. True, the oil. The oil, as I said. Ooh, the only thing vegetable oil. Down, I, don't... I think it's vegetable oil. But vegetable oil is good, right? This would be the fun for vegans, right. yeah. Is there any oil that's not? Well, like if it was cooked to like, like beef oil, oh, or yeah. lard or something, like that or something, yeah. That's like look at the maybe Pringles or something that would be good. Yeah, but I'm so excited. Yeah, that's true. So Heidi, for vegans, is there any oil you um you know you can't we can't have your food cooked in? She's probably like I don't want any of that stuff. Again. She's probably like potato chips. Why are you gonna send me potato chips? Come on. I just sent you a recipe for Welsh cake. She's going to be potato chips. No. Yeah. Um, right. But I'm super excited because Heidi, like, she made stuff. I know she, home she homemade stuff. Yeah, she's like a, e what do you call it, a, a chocolatier? E is that the, I don't know. The... What, can uh, we, what, can, what can we make? I ain't making nothing. <laughs> we won't do that. Because we'll I don't want to be responsible for anybody dying. <laughs> we always send you these cakes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that would be a mean joke. It's like, we made you something. It's like. Terrible. Like, these are like, yeah, it'd be like kids making their parents' food, and they're just like, oh, good. <laughs> but when, a bunch of salt. <laughs> Heidi, when we get your package, do you mind if we open it up on a – or, like, try it? Like, we'll probably have to open it up when we get it so I can refrigerate stuff or whatever. But if we try them on a live stream, do you mind? That would be fun. We can see our reactions. Yeah. I want you to say you don't have to send me anything. I know, but I want to send you something. It's fun. Yeah. David just had a bag of ketchup crisps. I think he said I've just had a bag of ke like meaning that's what oh he's yeah, yeah that makes I sense. think I, maybe have you had a Joe Louis before David or a passion flaky coffee crisp coffee crisp coffee crisp uh, they might have those. it's yeah, Kit Kat 
It's Kit Kat Canadian. But they might have That's true. They, they might. Might have the same candy as us. That's true. They have all the Nestle stuff. Yeah. That's um, right. Yeah. We'll have to do a little. Uh, I have a list. Research. Of, Investigation. Like, I have a list of. Uh, Hey, Bob the Raptor, do you, have you guys ever had a Joe Louie? Because we can send it. You guys can try it. Bob and Joe, if you're still here. I'm sure if they're still here. They might have left because we were so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> they had to go find some bacon, I think. <laughs> yeah, like, we need some good meat food. Yeah. But if right. Bob and Joe are out there, we can send Joe Louie's. I don't think Joe would like Joe Louie. No. Joe would not like Joe Louie's. Joe would not be a fan. Joe would though. not be a There's fan. There's no uh, meat products in Joe Louie's. But no. it's junk food. Yeah, yeah but he's a meat fan. Uh, but Bob would like it. Fan. Bob, I think, would like it. Bob yeah. could probably go for okay. it. I always get that mixed up. Yeah. But yeah, David, if you haven't sent... Uh... Heidi said, oh, I don't mind. I'll be watching through my hands, though, in case you don't like it. Slightly worried about things melting on the way and looking... I'm not going to expect that they're going to look as pretty as when you box them up just because it is the post. They're crossing the ocean. Yeah. 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 yeah no, it's. Uh... So I'm not going to judge on appearance because I, and even if it does melt a little bit, we'll just put it in the fridge and reharden yeah. it up and we can make it away. away. We won't judge on appearance. No, no. We realize that, uh, yes, yeah, shipping chocolate, homemade chocolates across the Atlantic is. Yeah. 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 So there's Challenge. lots of uh, variables there. Especially the, the fact that it's summer, it's like 40 degrees out here. And Heidi, I can assure you we're going to love it. So don't even worry about that. Uh, Dave, blah, 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 blah. Excuse me. David hasn't had a Joe Louis. Okay, David. And he can't stand anything coffee, he says. Weirdo. So you will not like a coffee crisp, so... But I think yeah. they have coffee crisps. Yeah, do you, do you guys have coffee crisps? It's the Americans that don't have Nestle. That's right, yeah. Um... I read a whole thing online about it because I was trying to Google what Canada has that the States don't. And then there was a whole thing like, cause apparently the States used to have some stuff like they used to have Cadbury and now they don't. Well, don't punch me over there if you're from the States and you do, but the article said that Cadbury was like, whoop, because the difference with Cadbury is the, their first ingredient is milk. Yes. That's what makes it so good. Yeah. Real milk. That makes a big difference because there, there is a huge difference between trying this. Oh my god, it's so good. So David hasn't seen coffee crisp there, but he hates coffee anyways. So. But when it okay, hold up, David. You made us try a marmite and Branson pickle toasty, <laughs> and you're gonna try a coffee crisp. Good point. Because that ain't gonna make you want to throw up or have gas come out. That's a fair that. point. That's a fair point. <laughs> so you're gonna try a coffee crisp, and you're gonna film it, and you're gonna like it. I burned for that sandwich. <laughs> I just got bossy. I'm sorry, guys. He he. We did the brands from pickles. Like that's true. Yeah, we we fought through that. Three brand new flavors, which will be known only as the Steve the Kelly and the Eric until you get it to save rent. Renew. Oh, that's so oh, fun! Thank you. I like that. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I mean, I'm assuming it's gonna take like a little while to get here, but I'm super excited. Yeah. Yeah. I've never had international mail before. Oh, no, I never have. We've only exchanged packages with uh, Hike and Deep, who's in the States. They're and, in Arkansas. And, yeah, um, Arkansas. Who else are we? The Roushes, Roush who are in uh, Ohio. Ohio. What did the Roushes send us? Nothing. We sent them stuff. Oh, we sent them stuff. Okay. Yeah. I yeah, love next. We were watching it the other day. They did, uh, we sent them some candy bars and some stuff like that. Yeah, if you want to go to their channel and watch the video of them trying the stuff we sent them, it was sometime in January 2020, like this past January. Yeah, they're uh, yeah they no, they no. vlog every day so, so they have everything broken down. Because I knew, because I just watched it. Not I know, because you watch their channel a lot. Um, but yeah, okay, David, we'll send you coffee crisp. Check. And then he says, "Okay, just be like Mike dipping in Branson or Marmite." Uh, okay, you do, you do, no. you do, you no. do. But you got to try it, and I'll do the Joe Louis. So when you we send a message, we'll exchange addresses, and then. Swap it out. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll send you some passion flakies too, since they're both Bashan. The Bashan has a few different things. Yeah, who knew? I have like no those idea. cupcake things with the. You know what Julie's kind of like? You know, like the Swiss rolls? Yeah. A little yeah. bit like that. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Are they Bashan? No. 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 And like the little Debbie stuff, we don't have as much of it as the States. Does. No. No, we don't have. Uh, we have some little Debbie stuff, but, but not uh, all Just like some cookies and. A little bit of little Debbie. Just a little, little Debbie. <laughs> a little, little. <laughs> I'm going to try and find that list of stuff that it said that we have that. 
they don't have in the states. And then see if there's something that I'm forgetting. So here's the thing: it's easier for us to try and surprise people in the states with food because we know that there's differences, but yeah, we there's know also know that a lot of that stuff is sold in the UK. Yeah. So it's that's like, the thing because the UK is we're kind of like we're kind of similar yeah. in a lot of ways in that stuff. Yeah. Uh, apparently, Mr. Big Wonder Bars, Mars Bar, because they have the they have Mr. Bigs in the no. states. <laughs> Crunchy Bars, Yorkie. That's, that's terrible for you. They don't have dairy milk. They have dairy milk. Dairy milk, really? Because it's Cadbury. Oh my god. So they used to, and then they pulled it all this, off. So this is also that's not in the states you're talking yes, about. Yeah, in the okay. states. Arrow. Oh, and the, apparently in the states, I'm sure you can, but the article said basically you cannot even hardly find Nanomi Bars. Or butter tarts in the states. I could see that. Like, I'm sure some places, or they might call them something. Oh, different. we can actually send those to Heidi and David butter tarts because you can buy them here like prepackaged. Mm, but it's Heidi true, may not be able to eat them. But the butter, eat them, yeah. yeah. Heidi, yeah. I'm always looking out for you. It's true. You're always <laughs> like, uh, vegan. Don't forget. Um, maple syrup stuff. I mean, they have maple syrup, but real Canadian. Beaver tails. Apparently, you can buy like mini packaged beaver tails. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'd be interested to try that because I don't know if I've ever seen those before. Yeah, no. Like the like, time I think of beaver tails is like the stands that you buy in like at fairs and stuff. Yeah, Maltese, you'd have to heat it up, I guess, right? Malteasers, they don't have. Ugh, don't worry. Don't want you those. don't want those. They're They're disgusting. Like yeah, but Ugh. they probably have them over in the UK. Well, Maltesers are the best. They're disgusting. They're yeah. awesome. You can have them. Yeah. Um, They're not good at all. Mm -hmm. Ketchup chips, hickory sticks. Ooh, hickory sticks are really good. Mmm, and ketchup chips. Ketchup chips are delicious, and I had no way. And apparently, at least in the states, they don't have all dressed chips either. Really? Yeah, it's just Canadian. All dressed is a weird flavor. I <laughs> says bless you. There's always one awkward burger the way. <laughs> For the vegan? Yeah. <laughs> I just one of my our well mutual friends to all of us. She has a lot of like allergies and not. I shouldn't say a lot, but she has some allergies and food restrictions. And I'm always thinking ahead, like oh. Like yeah, when we're at we'll the cottage, like, oh, I'll make at, yeah. group meals and stuff, and then it's like, oh, she can't have like tomato sauce and stuff. So I, I'm really good at thinking. Of I was like, oh, we'll do burger. Cycle. She might still name them after the food fair starts back up. Uh, that after. this is way before the chat. Oh. But that's super, that's super nice. Yeah, keep them that name. That's so cute. You'll <laughs> <laughs> be like, what? <laughs> the Eric bar tastes a little weird. But then you'll have to. No, it's delicious because Heidi made it. Oh, right, right. But you have to tell us which one was the best seller. I'm going to go for mine. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Now, David says Maltesers are fantastic. Oh. Ever, even better drug than hot chocolate. I've never thought of that, oh. but Maltesers are the best. This is coming from the Branston Pickle Man, so take that with a grain of salt. It's but true, I like yeah. Maltesers. <laughs> I love Maltesers. I just, yeah, I never, I don't know. I, I haven't had them forever, but just the, the center of them, I was just never. Or the Whoppers. No. They're my grandma's, one of my grandma's favorite candies, so I used to eat them all the time with her, but though she ate the Whoppers, but Maltesers are good too. What's the difference between a Whopper and a Malteser? I don't think much. I think I one, saying, I think one, Whoppers are in the States, so it's just a different chocolate. Okay, because that's just thing I'm like, I know they're kind of similar, but. Uh, but like Maltesers, you can't get in the States. So whatever, maybe they're Cad, I don't know if they're Cadbury, but. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think Cadbury makes them so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but I learned in my research too that you guys, well, not all you guys, but David, David and, excuse me, Heidi, you already know. You apparently knew too, but the dairy milk, it's because the first ingredient's milk. Yeah. And all other, Actually, I lied. I didn't know that. And all other chocolate, it's sugar is the first ingredient. Well, and really? I, the, my biggest thing is if you, like, Smarties and M&Ms. Yeah. Like, a huge taste difference between those two. Yeah. They look, like they should almost taste identical. They're, almost, but, they're the same style of candy, exactly. But I hate plain M and M's. Like I don't like them at all. But I love Smarties, and I find like well, the whole thing with the blizzards. I can't see your face. At Dairy Queen, right? <laughs> yeah. The blizzards at Dairy Queen for years they were Smarties blizzards, and they changed it to M and M's, and oh. it was awful. I just stopped buying them. Not that I get them a lot. Yeah, but, it just wasn't good. Yeah, yeah. and it's just the it's chocolate. Just it's just oh, no, totally it's... different. Hi, Proteo. Hey. Hey, Proteum. Is it Proteum 1? Well, I was going to say Pro because I don't want to butcher your <laughs> yeah. name wrong. Thanks for joining us. Happy Friday. And Heidi said, my two absolute best sellers are a chocolate bird that you'll be getting in your box and white chocolate Maltese fudge. Ha, 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 ha. That's all for me. Enjoy it all by yourself. You gotta yeah. try it. Oh, I'm going to try it. love fudge. White chocolate Maltese fudge. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Yeah. 
what are you getting? Like, I haven't had Whoppers or any of those since, like, as a kid on Halloween, I'm even getting them and hating them. Oh, <laughs> but she can't sell, she can't send that, though, because it's only a couple of weeks shelf life in case the box is delayed. Uh, okay. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll just dream about it. <laughs> Oh, now I just want some like chocolate and stuff. I know. This has been delicious. We've had like all we talk Joe about Louis, is food and well, like, I don't know, Heidi, how you don't weigh like four hundred pounds with all the chocolates and because stuff. Because she can't doesn't eat a lot of it because she's that's vegan. right. Yeah, <laughs> it's the perfect combination, that's right? Smart, though, she can make delicious food but not eat it because she's vegan. Yeah, no, that's smart because I would just. You know, I'd be a monster. I'd be oh, like, yeah, I'd make sure this tastes okay. Oh, yeah. oh uh, maybe it tastes. Yeah, it tastes I, pretty I, good. I'll eat some more. I'll taste it again. But it might be like one of those things, like when you. Um, like my mom always says, when you cook a big giant turkey dinner, by the time you sit down to eat it, you don't even want to eat it because you've been staring you've been, at it all yeah, day. Yeah, you've been working all day. So it's maybe like... it's the same thing. Maybe. Something to look forward to when you come over. Yes. I'm starting so... to save my pennies. Yeah. We don't have any pennies anymore. <laughs> That's well, true. Well, I'm you saving my dimes. <laughs> I just get my friends and family to try it all instead. They hate me. Oh, Why are they sure. love? Sure. I'm sure they hate, yeah. Oh no, here comes Heidi with all that chocolate to try again. Darn, more delicious food. <laughs> yeah. Darn it. That's it's okay, it. Heidi, whenever we get able to come visit, we'll give you like a good amount of notice so you can just bake away for when we yeah. show up. <laughs> it was, I'm a bit of a monster, I'm almost 300 pounds. Yeah, but you're also no, like, he's like seven, seven feet tall. Feet tall. Like six foot yeah. five, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Six, I, I'm five, seven and a half, five eight on a good day in lifts. <laughs> <laughs> if I were 300 pounds, I'd be like, I couldn't get through my front door. <laughs> no, yeah, it's, it's like anything 300 pounds, depending on the height, is uh, it makes it, 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 it everyone wears it differently. But yeah, 6'5, 300, that's a uh, you're just a big, solid dude. People probably don't want to mess with you, I bet. That's probably very true. You seem so friendly on your videos, but in real life, you should. <laughs> This threaten your viewers. That's right. Watch my videos. <laughs> I'll find you. <laughs> so I have a very specific set of skills. <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to. I'm just looking at the time, so we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go to wrap relatively it up soon? soon. Okay. But just so you guys all know, in case I forget at the end next week, and we're gonna be at the cottage, so we are gonna try and do a live stream Friday at 7 p.m. like usual. Yeah. We can't guarantee how long it'll be or how good quality it'll be or anything like that, but we yeah, will. Yeah, yeah, we'll be up there with the, just the laptop up at the cottage, so it should be. I think, it, well, it was like when Steve Zoo or. When I, yeah, when I was up there a couple weeks ago. But just in case something crazy happens and we can't get connected, that's why, but we yeah. are going to. We're going to try. We're going to yeah, try. Yeah, oh, for sure. And we'll have, I'm hoping we can have the lake in the background and it'll be a little more exciting then. It'll be like live yeah. on location somewhere. Yeah, well, hopefully if it's nice, I mean, we can go sit outside and like get some s'more. Ooh, we could live make some s'mores in the fire. I mean, logistics, we don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah. that's the dream, right? That's right. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. Now Heidi's... we get a summer weather. We got a couple of trips to the cottage coming up in the next month and a half. Heidi said, "Just give me your list of requests, Kelly, and I'll get cracking." <laughs> I think they're gonna have the bigger list of requests. They're the sweet chocolate. I have a big sweet too. Oh, I love chocolate. it too, but like just. Small quantity, there they, yeah, you no might have. No self control. I will eat it until I get sick. You <laughs> might have to be baking for like months for, to, for them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. But, I mean, homemade chocolate sweets. It doesn't get any better than that. No. It doesn't get better than that. It's fantastic. Excuse me. Perfect. Yeah, that was so good though. But again, Heidi, again, thank you so much. Those, thank you. Those uh, Welsh cakes were awesome. I'm really glad we made them. And uh, I know we kind of weren't 100% true to the recipe, but. They were, they were really good. good. They were really good. We just had an issue with knowing how moist it was supposed to be. Yeah, no, but they oh, came out really. They tasted amazing. We cooked yeah. them. They were too moistly. I think. Yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna take this stuff that's cold and throw it on the grill later and cook them back up and make them for like breakfast or something. Why not? Yeah, Enjoy them. Good. They're good. Yeah. But yeah, so next Friday will be the cottage. <laughs> So we won't be doing anything fun. Like I said, hopefully we can make some like s'mores and stuff on the stream or just campfire. Like, yeah, camp campfire live stream. No, Heidi's asking, how long are you going to be up there for? Post should take about a week from here, so can delay sending if you're going to be. We're yeah. coming home on Sunday. We're, we're only we're going still, yeah. Thursday night to Sunday morning. So. Yeah, we're just going out for the weekend. Really, it comes in a week that fast. During oh, COVID times, even. I'll believe it when I see it with. Yeah when it gets here like it might go from there to canada quickly yeah. but as soon as it gets here it might yeah i've ordered some stuff for like 
gifts and things. It took a lot longer than I expected. Yeah, they say that Post, Canada Post is saying that basically have, it's like Christmas for like the last two months. Yeah. Everyone's been using the Canada Post, but. But we will be home Sunday. Like, so only going for three days, so it should be fine. Yeah, yeah, we shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't miss it at all. I guess from when you send it, they probably literally just take it and put it on a plane and then it comes here. So it's probably, leave, like I said, leaves Wales fast. Mm-hmm. Eric, you burped, burped, didn't you? I'm sure. <laughs> it probably, the branch and pickles coming back again. Uh, <laughs> the store can through my system. It probably leaves Wales fast and then gets to Canada and has to go through like Sit somewhere, customs yeah. and stuff. And then, but I'm hoping it comes in a week. That'd be awesome. Oh, that's right. It's going to go through customs. But yeah, when we get it. Not steal our chocolate customs worth it if you guys are watching. <laughs> no, don't put anything illegal in there, Heidi. Yeah. We want it to get ripped open. No. But when we get it, we'll put it in the fridge and then the next live, we'll. Yeah, we'll do definitely it. We'll crack out eat it. On the live. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That'd be fun. But we'll open it and stuff just so that we can not have it melt. Yeah. David said my Amazon Prime is taking four days instead of next day. Yeah, you know yeah. that a lot that next day deliveries kind of uh, just depends what it is. Yeah, yeah. We're lucky we have a fulfillment center in the area. Yeah, there's one in Brampton. So if it's in the fulfillment center, they're shipping it. I think it's getting back to normal now, but in the height of everything, the if it was in the area, they were shipping it. But if it was something that was like had to be traveled here, it was being delayed, so essential stuff could go through. Yeah, they were even slowing down. That's right. They were trying to slow down like anything non-essential. But even then, I mean, I've ordered Amazon through the whole time, and it hasn't. You know what's been the worst is Old Navy in the Gap. Ooh. Holy hell, that took a month. Yeah, Jeez. that shirt took forever to get here. That shirt I got. It was UPS. They're the worst. <laughs> You see Davis comment? Nothing yeah. illegal. I could take it and haggis out of the package. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, haggis is illegal. It. Don't send it. Uh, just, you know, knowing like knives or guns, that would be good. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good start. Wow. Oh, but yeah, David, send a message to any one of us on Facebook or Instagram. if you have our email or something, just send it to one of us or anything and we will... Um, Send you the address. Sorry, I was thinking four things in my head while I was trying to talk. I couldn't do that. Yeah. But yeah, I guess we'll kind of tie it up because, like I said, I have a board game, a virtual board game date with my aunt and mom and dad in like 20 minutes. So I gotta Ooh. go figure that out. All right. I'm super competitive, but I can't like flip boards <laughs> over the. That's like there shouldn't be a button to toss the board. <laughs> I've never played board games virtually, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it'd be fun. But yeah, so thank you guys again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, guys, thank, thank you for joining, you so us. Much for joining us. Thank hope you for the recipe, Heidi. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching that. We had a ton of fun making it. Yeah, and, and hope, more fun eating it. Hopefully, we did it justice, Heidi. We we did try our best despite all the joking. Yeah. We did try our best. Yeah. yeah, even even though we cooked it with our amateur hands, it was still worth the trip. It, it was definitely worth the trip. Thank you, Nancy. Pretty worth the trips, guys. Go check them out. And thank you, Nancy, for joining us. And we will see you guys next Friday in Cottage Country. That's right, live from the. Wilds of Perry Sound. That's right. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. You guys you gotta, gotta the button. click the end button. There I did.